in this study, we looked at urine from more than 1,000 men who presented for prostate biopsy because they had an elevated serum PSA. So we looked at the expression of two new markers, Tempris 2 erg and PCA3 in their urine, and we looked at whether the combination of these markers could help us determine whether they had prostate cancer. So we think the value of this test is because currently when men are identified as having elevated serum PSA, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have prostate cancer. Uh, men can have elevated serum PSA from benign conditions that don't mean they have cancer. And because of that, several prominent groups in the U.S., uh, advisory groups, recommend that the decision for whether to get a PSA test and then what to do with an elevated result should be a decision between a man and his physician. And so we envisioned this and sort of the way we set up the study was to make sure that this could be used as a tool that could help a man and his physician make that decision for whether they need to get a biopsy urgently or perhaps they could delay the biopsy and follow, um, maybe get their numbers rechecked in a year to see if it would be uh, prudent to get a biopsy or to delay that decision. There's a number of reasons why we need a better test for prostate cancer. Um, prostate cancer is very common and not all prostate cancers need to be treated. Um, and so part of the reason is we need to find a marker that's both specific for cancer, meaning if you have an elevated uh, level of this marker, it means that you likely have prostate cancer, as well as um, if I have prostate cancer, does it need to be treated? And so in our study, we showed that having elevated Tempris 2 erg and PCA3 means that you likely have prostate cancer. And if your levels are very high, it also likely means that you have the kind of cancer that would need to be treated. And so we think this is sort of a test that can be used to fine tune your serum PSA results and saying whether you need a biopsy now or whether it would be okay to delay. And there's a lot of current research going into finding markers that are specific uh, for cancer. And we think this is a, a certainly one of those for prostate cancer and that we're excited that we have a sort of a clinically available test that we can use to exploit this for diagnosing cancer.